deregulation for aflatoxin is done using compulsory Uganda standards. What it means is that a product covered by a Uganda standard has requirements in there that refer to how much aflatoxin is allowed. So it's not so much aflatoxin on its own. Aflatoxin is just one part of many things that we look at. For example, if you're dealing with maize grain, the maize grain standard indicates a number of parameters that the maize grain product has to meet. One of them includes aflatoxin. So I, we don't have a regulation for aflatoxin. We have compulsory Uganda standards, which cover maize grain, maize flour, millet, uh, sorghum, whichever cereal you want to talk about or its product, the requirements that they should meet are clearly indicated in the Uganda standards.